Well, we got the engine off to be rebuilt finally. Uh, we're gonna start tearing that transmission out, but in the meantime, there seems to be a problem with the ignition lock on the chimney. So we're gonna look at that. guys have ever seen this before but it won't turn and I know if I wiggle the steering wheel enough and I mean five minutes or more it will finally find whatever place it is to get that working so we're gonna poke around with that today and see if we can get that fixed not 100% sure what it is I don't, I don't think I've ever had that happen before um, but we're gonna look at it I won't bore you guys too much with taking this thing off, but uh, I do have a new one to go on, which is really cool. Thank you, uh, Steven, for uh, getting that shipped to me. We also have another dash to put in, but we're kind of waiting for the whole engine project, kind of do it all at once. Might do it ahead of time just to get some of this wiring cleaned up so it's ready for a radio and then find a place for that, uh, that new um, computer. All right, guys. So some of you guys might think this is crazy, but what we did was use a little WD-40, which I read some stuff on a locksmithing form. Uh, this is a pretty common problem, I guess. Uh, put some WD-40 in there. Um, I got it to unlock. I just worked the key quite a bit. Um, just back and forth a bunch of times. When I finally got it to unlock and it seems to be working okay now. I might still see if I can find a whole new uh, ignition cylinder. I think this just comes off. It's a couple of bolts here and it unclips and needs to buy a new one. But I'm going to have to try to find one that has uh, all the keys for the doors too. Because I just, I don't want to have two keys. <laughs> it's just silly. So I'm going to try to see if we can find something like that. If you guys know some, stick it down there in the comments. See ya. Thank you for watching our video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day.